New at 10, police busted an illegal casino operation in East Oakland this week. They say they recovered firearms, ammunition, cash, and more. Neighbors tell KTVU's Amber Lee they welcome the attention, but more needs to be done. Amber joins us live in Oakland tonight. Amber. Greg, I spoke with neighbors and city council member Noel Gallo, who represents that district. They tell me they want continued and consistent law enforcement. Neighbors say illegal casinos in East Oakland are a serious and ongoing problem. We don't want the casino riot. That's not, that's not going to bring violence and other things going to happen out here. Police say they made a bust on Wednesday at an illegal casino and recovered three firearms, including an assault rifle with extended magazines, ammunition, and an undisclosed amount of cash. Officers also seized several illegal casino gaming machines. Police say they arrested four people. Having a legal casino brings a lot of energy, bad energy, negative energy to where uh, we're trying to build an environment, we're trying to build a community. City Council Member Noel Gallo tells me the illegal casino that is the focus of the police bus was operating out of this home on East 16th Street. He says Wednesday's bust was the third at that location within a year. The noise level, the activity, the gang, the fighting that goes on, uh, serious. It's a neighborhood filled with families, yet Gallo says he's counted five illegal casinos in a one-mile radius, including ones that operate inside commercial spaces that double as gambling spots after hours. People are reluctant to report it directly and point the finger. That's who's doing it. Some say in addition to the illegal casinos, prostitution and the homeless create an unsafe and unsavory environment. This is very frustrating, but you know, that's a, you know, whatever happens in out here, it just, it, it happens, but we need to stop all this around here. Gallo says when an illegal casino is shut down, another pops up. He tells me police are working with property owners to let them know they will face fines if they knowingly allow illegal activity to take place. Greg? Amberly, live in Oakland for us tonight. Amber, thank you.